<laughs> Aw, Hannah Banana, you crying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> channel it is the day after Christmas and we just got home this morning so I'm so tired like exhausted my hair is greasy and that's why it's up in a big old bun but I'm like you know what whatever so I wanted to show you guys what I got normally I feel like it's a little weird to do these types of videos because like oh my gosh here's everything I got but I guess I show you guys hauls all the time and I know a few of you wanted to see it so I thought I would put it up and I thought I got some absolutely amazing things that I want to show you guys like I brought all this home and you know that feeling when you just feel a little bit overwhelmed because it's like I have so much stuff already I don't need anything else like truly I do not need anything else so when I was bringing all this home I'm like whoa I need to get rid of a lot of the old stuff and make room for the new and I think that's what boxing day is do you guys know what boxing day is I feel like in Europe they have boxing day and you're supposed to like get rid of all your old stuff, box it up, and bring it to charities. I think that's what it is, but I'm actually not 100% sure on that. So if you guys know what Boxing Day is, leave it in the comments down below because I think that is a great idea and everybody should do it. Anyways, enough about Boxing Day. I'm gonna show you guys what I got for Christmas. It has been one of the best Christmases by far, like present-wise. I, I got so much stuff and it, it's actually kind of just ridiculous, but I am so thankful for all of it. So thank you guys so much to whoever got me a gift. There are so many people who are involved in these gifts, so thank you. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so blessed. My parents live out of state, so we spend Christmas with them one year and Christmas with Kyle's family one year and we just switch. I actually like that a little bit easier because I notice when couples have both of the, their families in the same town, it's like, run to this place, run to this place, into this place and you really don't get enough quality time with each person because it's just like running around all day so I think it's even though it's sad that I like don't get to see my family on Christmas I get to spend the whole Christmas next year with them so it, it was really nice because we got to spend the whole Christmas with Kyle's family this year so in the vlog clip you guys will see we had one really big surprise for Kyle's grandma this year that all the grandkids planned and I'm just so excited to show you guys she has done so much for us so we wanted to give back to her so stay tuned for that in this video so this year I had a huge surprise as well as Kyle I had no idea it was coming and I've never cried over a gift before <laughs> but this was not like any other gift I'll put in the clip right now so you guys can check it out. Both of you guys get one of these bags. Really? Does it matter which one? Does it matter which one? Don't open that yet. Open the box first because that goes with the box together. Yeah. Box together. Who's the box? Just put it down and box together and then that's it. Yeah, like a box. Yeah, he's doing a box. Is it for just Emily? Or do they do it first? Do it too. Wait, whose is it? Is Emily mine or? You, Emily, Kyle, and Hannah. Okay, you right. can open it. Can I open it? Anyone got a knife? <laughs> the big box. It's like a TV. What do you think, Terry? The big box. Hannah Banana, you crying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We did get on camera. <laughs> brother-in-law Kurt has been in Ecuador doing missionary work for probably like six months now maybe a little over six months so we thought that we weren't gonna be able to celebrate uh, Christmas with him but the whole family just went to Ecuador to visit him we didn't end up being able to go but the rest of the family did their surprise to me and Kyle was Kurt and it was the best surprise ever Kurt actually kind of not lived with us but he lived close to us in Nashville for a while so he would come over to dinner like every single night we just had a lot of fun so I really really missed him and I was really sad that we didn't get to go to Ecuador so just that surprise in itself was such a huge gift you know like when one person has gone out of your family and you're like 
this is just like a little bit quieter than normal. Like what's different? I felt like that's how it would have been. So just the fact that Kurt got to be there with us was such a blessing. So I'd have to say that was my favorite gift by far. Now getting into the more materialistic gifts, which I just feel overwhelmed by, because again, I don't need any of these. But one gift that I was so excited about that actually Donna, Kyle's mom, got all of the girls is this half-baked harvest cookbook. If you guys don't follow Tegan Gerard on Instagram, she makes the most amazing, beautiful, platters of food that you could ever dream of. Go follow her. Her name's Half Baked Harvest and you guys can go check out all of the delicious recipes she has. She also has a cookbook so I was wanting this really bad. So before Christmas my mom got to come into town and we went shopping together so she bought my Christmas gift while I was with her and I was so excited to find these boots. I have been looking for tall brown boots that have a low heel forever and ever. I think these are so cute. These are by Gianni Beanie and they kind of like are loose that when you wear them they scrunch down a little bit but not too much and I just think the brown is so beautiful. They'll go with like my brown coat and I just love how tall they are as well. So I love these so much and I actually haven't been able to wear them yet because I just haven't even gotten fancy. Thank you mom. And then to continue on the boot trend, it was so nice of Kyle's parents to get me these Ugg boot booties. I, again, have been looking for low-heeled booties for a long time. I'm so tall. Again, I say that every video, I think. I don't like boots that have a really tall heel, so these are really good. They also have little zippers on the side, and they're super comfortable and gushy on the inside. So I'm excited to be able to, like, walk in these. They're also waterproof. They come in brown and black. Jacqueline has the brown ones, and I have the black ones. I just, I really love these. I think they're so simple and classic. So I've been looking for a pair of black boots for a long time as well. I was just so surprised to get these, especially because they're made by Ugg. Like, that's an expensive brand. So I got a ton of hair products in my stocking this year. I can't ever get enough of this Batiste dry shampoo. I got a big one and I got a small one for travel. These things are so nice to keep, especially for days like today when my hair is a greasy mess and I just don't want to wash it. So <laughs> the next thing I got is this Invisible Wear Texture Hairspray. I love texture spray so much, but I also feel like I have to wear a hairspray as well just to kind of like hold in my curls when I do my hair. So the fact that this is a texture hairspray is a great combo and I'm very excited to try that out. So I've already showed these a few times in the video so I'll just talk about them quickly but these are my fry little tennis shoes. I think they're so cute. I actually bought these for myself but Kyle's like you need to wait for Christmas to wear them so I actually asked him like a few days before Christmas can I please wear them because they go so good with my outfit and he he caved guys and he caved and I kind of feel guilty that I I made him cave but I was so excited to wear them I just couldn't weight and so that was really nice. I love these shoes so much and they're very comfortable as well. Something else I ordered for myself on Cyber Monday because it was a really good deal was this Lash Boost Serum and I love this stuff so much. It makes my lashes grow very very long and I got it on sale so I ordered it and I was like I just won't open it until Christmas and then Donna got me this thing called Grande Lash and I think they sell it at Sephora. I've seen it there before and I thought it would be interesting to like compare the two and see which one makes my lashes grow the longest. So I don't know if I'm going to do that but I thought that would be a fun comparison. I actually don't have the Grande Lash box up here. I don't know what I did with it. I think it's downstairs somewhere. But yes, that was so nice for her to get me. So now I have like double the lash boost and I can't wait to have really long lashes. I also got some natural deodorant, which smells delicious. It's by the brand Humble and it says it has nothing bad in it, which I like. So Kyle got me some of my favorite gifts. I was so excited to open these up. These were like huge, huge gifts for me. So I got a pair of Apple AirPods and I'm constantly editing, ooh, I like don't want them to drop out. I'm constantly editing on my computer. So I usually wear just like normal headphones that attach to the computer. So it's a little annoying and I can never play music through my phone because it doesn't have that little headphone jack. So I was so excited to get these so I can actually listen to music. I want to start working out more. So these will be really nice. And then of course, just editing and stuff. These will be great. I just don't want to lose this little baby case. I got a sparkly glittery case that's coming in the mail from Amazon. So hopefully it will 
will just like help me remember it and not lose this. Talking about losing things, I lost my Ray-Ban sunglasses. I talked about that in a video before, which you guys might have heard. But I was so sad because it took me forever to buy those Ray-Ban glasses just because I was like, they're so expensive. Do I really need them? I hope I don't lose them. I kept track of them so well for like six months. And then I went on a trip and I think that maybe either they fell off as I was riding the scooter or that this lady stole them, but I'm not really sure if she did, so I don't want to blame her. But she was acting a little bit suspicious, so I'm not really sure. But Kyle got me my glasses again! I was not expecting this because they are so expensive. So these are my favorite Ray-Ban sunglasses. Let me see if I have the name on here. Um, I can't find the name, but I'll link them down in the description box below for you guys. They are my favorite gold rim sunglasses by Ray-Ban, and I just think they look so cute. I was so sad without them. That was so nice of him to get me this sweet and thoughtful gift. When I lost them, I was so mad at myself. <laughs> So AirPods and Ray-Bans, like what the heck is this Christmas? It was such a good one and I'm not even done yet. One thing that Kyle and I have been really wanting for a long time and we both got it has been electric toothbrushes and normally we just use manual toothbrushes. I don't know why, I just think electric toothbrushes were so expensive so I never really made the investment but I went to the dentist and I've been drinking a lot of tea and they said you need to get an electric toothbrush. So Kyle's parents got us the Sonicare toothbrushes and I love mine so far. I've been brushing my teeth so much it's probably not good but I, I love this. It has three different levels, clean, white, massage on it. I will never go back to a manual again. I love electric toothbrushes. So this is like another huge gift that I was so excited about. Another Christmas gift I got is this beautiful scarf. I love the colors, all the neutral, beautiful tones. I think this is so cozy and so pretty. I asked Donna where she got this and I think she said she got it at Abercrombie. Yes. And then last but not least, we did like a sibling gift exchange and Jacqueline's boyfriend Sam was in on it this year just because why not? So Sam got me as somebody that he had to buy a gift for and I was so excited. He literally bought me the best gift ever and I'll show you guys. We had a $50 limit. I swear he spent over $50 but he says he didn't. So I'm going to show you guys what I got because it is the perfect like Christian quiet time gift set. He did such an amazing job. I asked Jacqueline, did you help him on this? And she said, not at all. He is so good. So what I'm excited about is this is the new strong exhaustive concordance of the Bible. So if you want to look up a word in the Bible that you don't fully understand, we were talking about it last night. Sometimes in the Bible they say like he was sleeping. Well, in Hebrew or Greek, did it mean that he was sleeping or he was dead? So you can look up the word and look up which verse it was in and then see what the meaning of that word in the verse is. So was he really dead or was he just sleeping? So this is such a good book for Hebrew and Greek translation to go along with your Bible. I would highly recommend this and I can't wait to add it into my study time. So the next thing he got me is a candle and this actually smells so good. Eucalyptus leaves, coconut water, and sandalwood. It's called the Midnight Woods Candle and it smells delicious. Almost like fall and I love fall scents so much so he did such a good job on that. Another thing that I'm really excited about is he got me this little inspirational day brightener and if you guys haven't read the book Love Does by Bob Goff it is really good. It says discover a secretly incredible life in an ordinary world. I think it just has little quotes on it from the book and then they have little daily bible verses in it as well so I thought that was awesome. That was such a cute sweet thoughtful gift and he got me bible study pins which these are not not cheap so I was so excited to get these. I highlight like all over my Bible and I just use like a basic boring pin so he got me all different colors and then he got me this little mug as well a little Christmas mug and I'm so happy so thank you so so much Sam that was like I was blown away by your gift so thank you. I forgot these two things that were in my stocking. I got these little scrunchies from Kyle's parents and I've heard they work so well in holding your hair up and then I got this pretty H necklace this delicate dainty gold necklace and I just thought that was really pretty as well so I can't wait to wear this. So I'm just absolutely blown away by these gifts. It is too much like honestly I feel like all of this is just too much. I don't need it. 
but I'm so thankful for it. So thank you guys to whoever got me a gift and for you guys who watched this video. But wait, I'm not done. I want to show you guys what we got Kyle's grandma. Something that you guys can look forward to as well because we're definitely going to be vlogging it. This was absolutely one of my favorite parts of Christmas morning. So let's just go ahead. Enough talking. I'll roll the clip and then I'll explain it afterwards. All right. This is from everyone. Okay. Yes. Open the biggest one first. The biggest one. Which yes. Is, which one? Okay. Let's see. You're gonna love it, Grandma. It's maple syrup. Oh, not that one. Not that one. <laughs> concentrated. I guess not. Tell me which one. Here, here. <laughs> the fattest. That biggest one. Okay, the that one. biggest one. No, okay. P H. Eight or eight or seven. Ooh. Mm. Well, this and you is have to say what it is. Oh my God. Vienna. 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 That was just like the cue with an avocado. Thanks. I like it. That's good. That's the first one. No, that's some good stuff right there. No, this is dehydrated Vienna. You got to add water to it. This is the ah. Say it out loud. All right. What do we got? What do we got? The old lady on the front. It's you. Yesterday, today, and forever. How nice. Do you know now, what is this now? Can you read this now? Yeah. Can you lie? Um, what is it? Maria? What? Maria? Oh, Maria von Trump. Oh. oh. Trump. Someday. Trump. Don't say Trump. No, no. Trump. no. <laughs> yes, it's uh, the, the Trump family, and that's uh, where I want to go. That's on my wish You've list, by the really way. Good book. Yeah. So is, that the real, yes. is that the real lady right there? Like yeah. Now, yeah. Wow. I think there's only one left of the Van Trump family. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Man, that'd be it. Wow. wow. Maybe it's really cool trip. What's next? It's on Grandma's wish list. Okay, thank you very much, because I'm going to do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah be before I uh, yeah, you kick the bucket. Yeah. But you have to eat your Vienna sausage <laughs> while reading the book. Oh, I love this. And I don't have it, to tell you the you truth. Don't? I don't. So this is oh. really nice. What, the what sound of music. Oh, it sounded oh. Like, oh. No. Is that a good diesel? You guys You guys should have did the whole music. Alright, now you gotta read this out loud. Yeah, read it out loud. Everybody has. Alright. Oh, it was the night before Christmas, Mom. It was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a grandchild was stirring, not even a mouse. The snow globes were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Susan would soon be there. This is funny. <laughs> the grandchildren were nestled, all snugged in their beds, while visions of Vienna sausages <laughs> danced in their heads. <laughs> were like roses, her nose like a cherry. The grandkids had thought up a plan just in time, which would give Grandma a chance to now enjoy her wine. On the plains of Austria, a trip she had planned, one that would be remembered by as grand. In spring of 2020, we shall see that it's like to be filled with glee as we voyage to Austria as a big family, just the grandkids and grandma, what could be better, except maybe a new Christmas sweater. Oh, is that great? <laughs> oh, that's great. Who did this? Mostly Grant. Huh? Mostly oh, that's great. Did you get the last part? Do you get it? Do you get it? We're bringing you to Austria. We're all going. We're, We're taking you on a trip. You. We're going to Austria. Seriously? Yeah. Oh my god, that's ridiculous <laughs> too much. No. <laughs> Are you kidding? You can't go on my passes. No, no it's <laughs> not free, this one. Oh, throw your money out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Don't no, do we're that. going. No, we're, we're going. You, yeah, took us, yeah. you took us on our trip. We're going to take you. The world. You're going so to you know, the go to place Austria. you need to go. Vienna. Why don't we just stay in my house and eat these wood rocks? And Fly from Ecuador straight there and meet you guys there. Oh, good, yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
so Kyle's grandma is a flight attendant, so she has gotten to go so many places around the world. And we asked her, what is one place that you've always really wanted to go, but just haven't been able to go yet? So she said Austria, and when I heard Austria, I was so excited. A few of us kind of asked her slyly so she wouldn't get any ideas, but we came up with the idea to give her little hints. So we did Vienna sausages because Vienna is in Austria and then we did the Sound of Music movie and the book because those were both based out of Austria as well. So I thought she would have gotten an idea after she opened those up. Then she read the poem that we wrote for her and she was like, oh that's cute! But I still don't think she got it until Donna said, but mom, do you get it? They're taking you to Austria. And then she just started crying. It was so, so sweet. We are so excited because next year we are going to Austria with her, just the grandkids and her. It's going to be such a special trip. We just hope we have the best time with her and we get to treat her because she has done so, so much for us. So we are so thankful for her. I would love to hear what you guys got for Christmas. What was your favorite Christmas gift? Leave it in the comments down below. So I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and are going to have a Happy New Year. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!